Our skin is made up of three important layers. These are known as the epidermis, dermis and hypodermis. The layer below the hypodermis is the muscle. The epidermis is the outer layer and it's made up of mostly skin cells. These cells constantly die and get replaced with new cells regularly. This layer provides a waterproof barrier against microbes. This layer also contains melanin, which determines the colour of your skin. If you have more melanin, then you'll have darker skin. On the other hand, if you have less melanin, then you will have lighter skin. Melanin is important as it helps to protect our skin from harmful sun rays. The dermis is the second layer of the skin. It contains hair follicles, sweat glands, tough connective tissue and nerve endings. The nerve endings help to send messages to the brain regarding what you've touched and the brain decides how you'll respond. For example, if you touch something that's very hot, such as a hot pan, then the nervous system will tell the brain to move away from it. The sweat glands is where the sweat is generated and is released through the epidermis through the pores. Sweat is important as it helps us to regulate our body temperature. For example, when you become too hot, then you will sweat more so your body can cool down. The hypodermis is the third layer. It's also known as the subcutaneous tissue. This layer is mainly made up of fat and connective tissue. Fat is important for our body as it helps us to keep warm and provides protection for our bones and organs. Therefore, the hypodermis's main function is to store fat for these reasons. So the skin contains sensory receptors which send signals to the central nervous system. This is how we feel things.